Hello all, welcome to Netbook and welcome back to Millsoft Tutorials. Today I am planning to talk about how we can integrate a REST API in Mulesoft. First of all we need to understand what is a REST API, then we will see how we can integrate a REST API in a Mulesoft. First REST means the stands for representational state transfer and an API is application program interface which is mainly used for interacting with the applications. Using this REST APIs, we can communicate from one application to another application. The REST APIs are URL based and it will have a different methods like get, post, put, pa uh, patch, delete methods kind of a things. And it support many data formats like a JSON, XML and uh, many more formats. So to integrate this REST API, we are going to use HTTP request connector in a MuleSoft. We need to configure HTTP request, con uh, request configuration where we will be providing the host port and uh, some URL, uh, the path, as well as um, in case of any security, those things we will be providing in a HTTP request connector configuration. So the main steps for integrating the REST API in a MuleSoft is we don't need any visitor for integrating with the uh, REST API. As I mentioned already, it is a URI based. We need only the URL. And uh, first of all, we need to have make sure HTTP dependency should be added. By default, all Mule applications will come or while creating itself in the creation itself. Uh, after creating, immediately the HTTP dependency will be available. Then we need to create a global configuration for HTTP request and then we need to drag and drop HTTP request in a flow. Uh, in case of any map, uh, the request and response mapping required, we need to do that mappings. So let's get started. I'm going to go to Anypoint Studio over here. As part of these tutorials, I am going to integrate with the one of the REST API. I can get free APIs in online. So I am using this website. Here it is providing the list of open source APIs which we can use it. I have many APIs over here. Any of this API we can use it. I have chosen this university list API. By using this university API list, um, we can use this API to retrieve list of universities from the particular country. So uh, you can see over here one of the URL. By using this URL, we can select all the universities from the United States. So then I can give that my API name as universities this universities API. I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to say sys universities API. Click on finish. As I mentioned, the first step should be the first step should be HTTP dependency should be added into the project. As soon as you create a project the HTTP dependency by default it will come for all MuleSoft project whenever you create. The second step is we need to create global configuration for HTTP request. For this I am going to the, go to the global elements create HTTP request configuration. Where I need to provide the hostname, port number, base path, those details. If you see the URL of over here this is my url for fetching the list of countries sorry list of universities from the particular country this is my host name i can select this host name as over here and you can see this is http so i can use universities dot 
hiplabs.com and the port number is 80 by default for HTTP and then uh, you don't have any base path or anything I can use search over here as my path so I'm going to leave as it is the default kind of settings over here I will talk about the in details about security and all in my next videos click on ok that configuration we need to do the third step is we need to add drag and drop HTTP request go to the message flow I have a HTTP request I am going to drag and drop over here once I select over here I can select the configuration as HTTP request what I have created in a previous step the method is get method and the path is over here search as it is there in my URL over here and we have something over here query parameters countries so I need to pass this countries as a query parameters I'm going to pass as a countries over here as a query parameters so I'm going to give as countries and I need to pass this countries as a URI parameter or query parameter so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that attributes dot query params dot country this is what I'm passing as a query parameters as it is required over here this query parameter that's it and I don't need to do any request and response transformation it is going to be the get method I will not have any input I'm passing the input as a query parameter anyways and the response whatever I'm receiving as a JSON I don't want to convert into any format so I'm going to keep it as it is to send a request for this I'm going to use HTTP listener over here and then I need to create a configuration over here I'm going to leave it as it is default I'm going to see that over here universities so my path is going to be the universities over here so this is done now so we performed all the four steps over here whatever it is required by default HTTP dependency was there and we have created a configuration for HTTP request and we have used HTTP request in a flow and we don't need any request and response transformation let me test it right click run this project while it is running let me create a request so I'm going to use a postman as a um, tool for testing this API I'm going to select netbook over here this is my workspace for testing this postman up from the postman I'm going to create HTTP request this is get method HTTP localhost uh, API I don't need anything over here 8081 slash if you see that I have given in the listener path universities Control C and I need to pass one query parameter that is country right over here if you see I'm passing that query parameter over here country so I need to pass this country as a query parameter so let me copy this country equals to I'm going to use India as a country this is my URL for testing this API so let me see if it is deployed yes it is deployed now what I can do is I'm going to submit a request now this one sent as soon as I submit a request now it will come the request over here it will call this rest API it will return the JSON response that JSON response will be shown over here you can see now the response is coming from the backend system the rest API is provided this response so it is providing all these universities lovely professional university country India and a state is Punjab and then another university 
uh, Somia Vidya Vihar like this all the universities are going to come as a response that simple it is so for integrating with the rest APIs make sure that HTTP dependency should be there add a global configuration for HTTP request and drag and drop HTTP request in a flow and in case of any mappings required like from the request map or response map we need to do that I hope this is clear for everybody. Thank you for watching this video. That's it for today. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, netbook. See you in the next video. Thank you.